Howdy folks, so this is just a quick follow-up video uh, to my LSI HBA uh, montage of videos. Um, I made the comment that the controller doesn't spin down discs when you turn the, uh, the machine off, and uh, I'm kind of annoyed by this, and it's not the first SCSI controller I've seen that does this. So I kind of just did a little bit of investigating out of pure curios curiosity, and uh, this is actually some code uh, for the driver for that particular card. It's the MPT2 SAS driver, which has been replaced by the MPT3 SAS driver in Linux 4.5. But of course, I'm still running 3.16 on that machine, so it's still using this driver. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, basically, the way, that, uh, the way that it should work basically is the Linux kernel, when it shuts down, there is a shutdown hook in the kernel that basically uh, other drivers can hook into, and it gets called uh, right before the kernel uh, terminates power, and the idea is uh, it's supposed to free stuff, uh, maybe shut down watchdogs, things like that. But anyway, um, spinning down disks would take place in that in that function. So I looked there, and uh, in the uh, in the this is actually the handler in the MP2 SAS dri driver, which uh, handles that hook. And uh, you'll notice right here it says if the firmware is not the IR version it just does nothing and it returns. So because I'm running the IT firmware, which is of course not the IR firmware, uh, this function won't even run. So that would explain why nothing's happening. But even if you do have the IR firmware, all it does uh, is basically just tell the controller, tell the, the firmware on the controller uh, to flush buffers and stuff. Um, and it never tells it to power down either. And the reason why uh, I, I kind of sort of facepalmed when I realized, uh, realized wh why this is the case. I, I, I couldn't think of a, a valid reason as to why they shouldn't power down disks other than the sort of obvious, well, servers don't power down very often, so you know it's not that big of a deal. And in my opinion, any good design, regardless of how little something is exercised, it should still be properly implemented. The real reason is very commonly, um, and I can't believe I forgot this, at my previous job we had this, um, where you'll have a big server where there'll actually be more drives than bays in the machine, and you'll actually have uh, like SAS cables running to another box with disks, uh, and that will have its own power supply and everything. And the idea is you can completely shut down a computer, uh, the server, but not actually turn off the disks, and they can actually stay running. So that would be uh, that would probably be why it's uh, it's not uh, here by default. Now this is no this is just one example. I mean the SD driver for example, um, it does do such a thing. Uh, it has uh, an, the same shutdown handler, and it does actually call a start stop device, and uh, it actually does. If I can uh, find that, yeah, it's right here. It actually does. Um, do a proper drive shutdown. So some some kernels or uh, some kernel modules will do it, others won't. And uh, it just so happens that the the LSI one doesn't. And I could, I mean, theoretically speaking, it's open source. I could technically modify the driver uh, to do it, assuming that. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't have to make much many assumptions. It is possible, uh, but I'm not going to bother to compile my own kernel with custom code and stuff. It, I don't care that much. Um, but I mean, someone could do it if they absolutely wanted to. I thought of another way of doing it, uh, potentially using a, uh, there's a, an SG3 utils package, which contains a binary called SG underscore start, which can send SCSI commands. And if you, you can basically send a read only stop command. And my thought was to send that uh, before the halt command. Uh, actually, let me show you where that happens. So my server is uh, running Ubuntu 12.04, so it still still runs upstart, um, which is a little bit better than uh, regular init, but uh, it's not system D yet, and it will be when I upgrade it. But anyway, in rc0.d, uh, for this run level, there's a bunch of scripts, and of course they're executed in order, and s, in this case, s90 uh, is the halt script. Uh, and you can actually look at it. Uh, it's just a bash script. Uh, it goes through a bunch of stuff. And in the script, what's really of note uh, is pretty much just one line, which calls halt. And halt is a symlink to reboot, and reboot will call the uh, shutdown binary, which is what actually calls this, the uh, Linux syscall um, that, kill, that uh, causes the kernel to stop. So basically, uh, this point right here is the last uh, interpreted 
uh, and like a non-compiled line that I could add uh, like an sg start command, for example. And uh, if you're wondering about the hdd down thing, this this is kind of weird to me because I don't entirely know uh, how that is interpreted because hdd down, if you literally look at the code, all it does is it just sets it to a dash h flag and it only it only just basically just removes it if you're running md raid. But it adds a dash h flag to halt, which if you look at reboot, which is what parses that, the source code for that interprets the dash h flag as the power off, um, like the actual power off the machine command, not as, has nothing to do with hard disks. So I have no idea how that flag is supposed to mean hard disk down. Because from what I look at the source, it doesn't, doesn't do that. So that would be my place to insert any uh, spin down commands if I could. And I may try it and just see what happens. Uh, but my my theory, at least I tried this before with HD Parm, and HD Parm might do things slightly differently because it does uh, ATA commands that get tr get translated to SCSI commands um, rather than a native SCSI command. But what would happen is the disk would spin down, and then as soon as this gets called, the disk would spin back up again, um, and then of course they'd get killed. So it completely defeated the point. So uh, I may try it, and I'll I'll update the description if it actually works. But I'm not going to be powering off my server for a while, and I'm not going to shut it down just for the sake of this. So anyway, uh, hopefully this was uh, interesting. Just thought I'd uh, share that. And as always, thanks for watching.